Hey guys, this is Joe Manalone, and today we're taking a look at Slimer JS. Uh, Slimer JS is a uh, headless web browser for the Gecko engine. It's exactly like Phantom JS, except instead of using the WebKit engine, it uses the Gecko engine, which would be the engine for Firefox, as opposed to uh, uh, Safari and Chrome to a minor degree, since Chrome is actually moving to the Blink engine. Uh, but that's beside the point. Uh, it basically allows you to do your tests and your screen captures and whatever you might be doing with Phantom JS uh, only in the Gecko engine. So uh, we did a demonstration of Phantom JS a little while back, and basically what the code did is it went to this web page which generates a PDF. It filled out these fields, click generate PDF, and then there was the PDF. And then locally here on my system, the PDF was right there. So what I'm going to do is run through that one more time. Uh, the code is exactly the same from the demonstration I did before, with the exception that I don't have to pass in the URL anymore. I just hard coded that for this demonstration. Uh, but you can see, you know, the code's all there. It's, it, there's nothing changed from the last time. You can go back to that tutorial and see. Uh, the only thing I've done is hard coded the address. Uh, so to run that, Phantom, oops, Phantom JS. And then we just tell it the script we want to run. And uh, just to take a look really quick, that's all right here. There's that local JS. We're in this uh, D slash git test directory. And when I run that, we're going to expect to see the uh, PDF get generated right here. So that's running. There's the PDF. I'm going to open that up really quick. There's our PDF. Okay, so now the cool thing about Slimer.js is uh, they went to great lengths to make sure that the code you wrote for Phantom.js would absolutely work with the Slimer.js engine. So all I really need to do is say Slimer.js, and I've already got that installed, and you can learn about all that on their website, and uh, run the local JS, and it's going to do the exact same thing. Uh, now, if you saw for just a brief moment there, a little window popped up. Slimer.js is not a completely headless uh, browser yet, which means you do get kind of a quick little window opening somewhere. You know, it's doing some things with either Firefox on your system or uh, Zool Runner, XUL Runner, uh, which is kind of in and of itself a uh, headless Firefox browser. You can learn more about that uh, uh, by looking it up. Uh, so anyways, we ran the Slimer.js local JS and it did the exact same thing. It filled out those fields, it generated that form, uh, and I didn't have to update any of my code. And one thing that's interesting about that is uh, if you're writing code just for Slimer.js, you can, you'll do Slimer.exit. Uh, if you're writing just for Phantom, you would do Phantom.exit, but Slimer allows you to do the Phantom.exit uh, in place of the Slimer.exit uh, <laughs> so, uh, so that you don't have to write the same code twice which is really, really handy. So, uh, for this demonstration, one thing I did on my own website here, uh, slash prefix.html. So I set up this uh, web page, and basically what it does, and we'll take a look at the source code really quick, it's got two H1 tags here, one with the class of G, one with the class of WK for WebKit, and on the G1, I'm using the Mozilla prefix, to rotate that 180 degrees. And on the WebKit one, I'm using the WebKit uh, prefix on the transform to rotate that one 180 degrees. So here in Chrome, we see WebKit rotated 180 degrees. And if we jump to uh, Firefox, we can see that Gecko is actually rotated 180 degrees. So we're gonna use that for a quick demo on how uh, you know, how we can utilize this to do testing in different browsers without having to have uh, a bunch of browsers open and taking a bunch of screenshots. So I have, uh, just to keep things moving along here, I've got a quick code or a quick script that I wrote up um, and it is uh, very simple. All it's gonna do, we instantiate the uh, page system or the, the web page system. Uh, we've got the uh, uh, arguments or the system. So, so we've got this one argument and that's going to be what I want to name a screenshot that I'm going to render of the page. And you can see again, I'm using phantom.exit there. Uh, so to run this, uh, here's what we're expecting. We want it to go to that page, to this page, and take a screenshot. Uh, and then save that screenshot in this directory uh, as whatever we choose to name it. So slimer.js uh, prefix. Uh, JS, that's the name of my 
script and then I'm going to tell it what I want it to call the screenshot, so slammer screen.png. Uh, so using the gecko engine, what we should get is a screenshot of this with gecko uh, rotated 180 degrees. Oh, what did, oh, sorry, minor typo there. Slimer, yes, okay, let's run that one more time. And we'll wait for that to pop up and go away. And there is our screenshot. So let's open that up and make sure you can see this. So we got a screenshot of, uh, of the page. You know, we've got Gecko inverted there, 180 degrees. And now we can take the exact same code, run it with PhantomJS, and we'll call this Phantom Screen. Same thing, completely headless though, so we don't see any browser window open. And there's our screenshot uh, from Phantom. And we can see the WebKit is completely uh, rotated the 180 degrees. And obviously this is kind of a fixed example, but you could clearly use this to uh, generate uh, screenshots of your web page for testing purposes now in both WebKit and Gecko uh, all at the same time. Now, there is a way supposedly in the new Casper.js where you can just change the engine and Casper.js basically can consume Slimer.js and Phantom.js at the same time. I have not personally been able to get that to work 100%, but it is in a, it's only available in a beta version of Casper.js. So we'll probably take a look at that uh, either once I found a workaround or once they iron out some of those bugs. Uh, but in the meantime, I mean, technically what I could do here, and I'm on a Windows machine, so I could write up a quick uh, batch file. So go.bat, that's fine. And jump to my text editor here. And I could say uh, phantom.js uh, local.js uh, phantom, well, yeah, we'll just call it p2.png. And then after that, I could run slimmer and we'll call that S2, save that, and now I could just I could just run that, and you can see it's gonna run both those commands for me, and go out and uh, generate those screenshots for me. And, uh, but it didn't. Hmm. Ah, you know what I did? I ran the wrong thing. Prefix. What that technically did is it just went and created those two uh, <laughs> uh, PDFs on the other script that we were running. So there goes Phantom, there goes Slimer, and we've got our P2, and we've got our S2. We preview that. There's the WebKit on the uh, Phantom one, and there is the Gecko on the Slimer one. So there you go, that's Slimer.js. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.